Hi, I'm Michael Josh. You're watching Gadget Match, and fresh from Korea is the V10, the latest smartphone from LG. <laughs> LG announced the V10 on October 1st. That's five months after it announced its flagship, the G4. Now the G4 is already a phablet, but this one is their phablet phablet because it is slightly bigger at 5.7 inches. But before we dive into it, let's check out the spec sheet of the V10. The V10 comes with a 5.7 inch quad HD display with 513 pixels per inch. It also has a 2.1 inch secondary display and runs off a Snapdragon 808 processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage plus expandable memory. Like the G4, it comes with a 3000 milliamp hour removable battery. It has two 5 megapixel front facing cameras, one with an 8 degree and the other with a 120 degree field of view. And quickly for your reference, this is how it looks like side by side with LG's flagship, the G4. The V10 comes in a nondescript white box. You have the V10 branding over here and to the side, the LG logo. And without further ado, let's just pull off this cover to reveal the box itself and there's actually a seal here on the side so you they want you to open the box this way like you would a book you have the phone over here let me lift that out for you so you have the phone over here let's set it aside for now inside the box lg ships a usb wall charger the v10 supports qualcomm quick charge 2.0 and you'll see from this logo over here this charger supports fast charge quad beat 3 in-ear headphones ours comes in white with a bronzed metal finish a battery yes this one is user removable and a micro usb cable as usual it also ships with a quick start guide and some service information first things first we need to pop off the back plate so that we can insert this battery to do that lift up from above the micro usb port we'll show that to you again there you go while this is open, let me show you the provisions for the nano SIM. You put it in like that, and the micro SD card, which you put in like that. And then we'll pop in the battery and the back plate. LG says this material is called Dura Skin. It feels like rubber with this texture. It's not the most premium looking, but it's definitely one that feels secure to the grip. On purpose, LG has made this phone extra durable. It's their first smartphone with a stainless steel frame. With that in mind, plus it's a rubberized back, this is a rugged phone and it feels very, very sturdy. The lines on this phone are very clean. All the buttons and whatchamacallits are on the back of the phone. As you can see, there's a trademark volume rocker on the back of the phone. This circular thing over here used to be just a power button. Now it also is a fingerprint scanner for unlocking the phone. Up top, you have a dual LED flash, a 16 megapixel camera, the same one found on the flagship G4 with an f1.8 lens, and laser autofocus and color spectrum sensor. Etched here on the bottom of the device is the LG logo. On the bottom, speakers another microphone, a micro USB port for charging, and a headphone jack. On the front of the phone, you have the LG logo. As you'll notice, there are no physical home, back, or menu buttons. And up top is the headline feature. Actually, not is, but are. There are two headline features. Over here, you have the two front-facing cameras, which we'll talk about later. And right beside it is a secondary display. You'll see what we mean in a minute when we power up the phone. Let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and set it up. Now, speaking of that secondary display, let me go ahead and read through these next few panels. It says experience second screen. It lets you open apps and see urgent info without searching for it on the main screen. We can customize the screen with apps and the info that we need. Let's click next. You can swipe here to see different content up here. And then you can easily see the date and time and of course some notifications. The other headline feature are these two front facing 5 megapixel selfie cameras. This one over here is made for close up selfies and this one has a wide angle lens for group selfies or what LG wants to call them groofies. To see that in action let's launch the camera app and then switch to the selfie camera. 
As you see over here, there's an icon for one person and three people over there. This is the close-up mode. And this is the wide angle mode. Can you tell the difference? Just like on the LG G4, the V10 has full manual mode when taking photos. You can go ahead and change white balance, manual focus, exposure compensation, ISO, and even shutter speed. But new to the V10 is a full manual mode when shooting videos where all of these settings can be changed as well. Like I pointed out earlier, this power button over here also doubles as a fingerprint sensor, a fingerprint scanner, and it's the first time we've seen one on an LG smartphone. Let's go ahead and set it up and see how it works. To do that, go into settings, fingerprints and security, fingerprints, it'll ask for a pin. Let me just go ahead and just type one, two, three, four for now. And now let's set it up. And now it will ask me to actually do the upper part repeatedly as well. And there you go, 100%. Now what I'll need to do is press tapping when the screen is off will not activate the fingerprint reader. You'll have to press down and hold and it quickly unlocks. However, because it's an LG phone, you can actually double tap the screen. If the screen is turned on, you can just tap on it quickly and it also unlocks the phone. This is what the user interface on the V10 looks like. LG has tried to keep it as close to stock Android as possible. If you take a look at the buttons, those are very much stock Android. So is this uh, button over here to get to the app drawer. Although I'm not a big fan of these square icons. You can arrange the app drawer, uh, or the apps in the app drawer by name and download date. You could also go in and hide or show some applications. For example, you have this app that you don't want other people to see. You can go ahead and just hide them by hitting that and it should hide that particular um, app icon. Now going back to the home screen, if you swipe to the right from the home screen, there used to be on the G4 at least uh, a feature called Smart Bulletin that is no longer available, which is actually good news because I was never really a big fan of that. The drop-down notification shade looks like this, very much similar to the G4. These shortcuts over here can be edited. For example, I use um, NFC a lot. I might want to just bring that up right after Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and then let's go back. And as you'll see, um, that arrangement is uh, follows uh, what I've customized just now. Now, diving into the uh, settings menu, the settings are actually organized into tabs, but if you prefer the standard list view, you can do that as well, like such. And then just diving into about phone and uh, software info, you'll see that the phone runs Android version 5.1.1 out of the box. And for those who don't know what that means, it's the version of Android called Lollipop. And that was our unboxing and quick hands-on with the LG V10 smartphone. We've already heard you, so we will be doing a review, but just so that we know what you want to see, what questions you want answered, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. Also, if you can't wait for that review, make sure to give us a thumbs up so that we know you are watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and follow Gadget Match elsewhere on social media. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.